Rotobrush 2.0 is good, but it's slow and still requires a lot of customizations. Let's take a look at the new Rotobrush 3.0, or Next Gen Rotobrush as Adobe calls it. And let's compare it to other rotoscoping tools on the market. If you're ready, let's jump on in. So the new Rotobrush 3 has been claimed to be much faster and much more precise at rotoing when there's overlapping objects and keeping the shape together, especially if there's fast moving objects. But we're going to be doing some tests to see if these claims hold up against all of the new AI Rotobrush tools that have flooded the market. To get the Rotobrush 3, we first need to download the new beta for After Effects. If you haven't downloaded any beta apps for Adobe before, simply just open up the Creative Cloud app and the Apps tab, go to Beta Apps from the sidebar. And here you can download the beta version for any Adobe app. I already have the After Effects beta installed, so let's open it up. Now we're inside of After Effects. I got two stock footages from Envato ready to go here. This running shot has some crazy hair motion, so it'll be exciting to see how Rotobrush 3 handles it. And another video here of some boxing with some fast movements and a lot of overlapping. To get started, click the Rotobrush tool on top and double click on the layer you want to roto. After Effects will jump to the layer view of the clip. Here is where you'll do most of the rotoscoping. Hold Command or Control and drag your mouse up or down to adjust the brush size. Now just draw lines inside of the subject and let After Effects figure out the rest. To get rid of unwanted selections, just hold Option on a Mac or Alt on a Windows to draw red lines. And this is going to remove anything you draw over. Now that we have a good mask at this first frame, let's hit play and let's see if it tracks the rest. And here we go. Looking at the results, Rotobrush 3 keeps track of the body very well. But the most impressive thing here is definitely the hair. You can see it really tries to follow the shape of the hair. It even masked out some of the see-through parts. Also, what's really cool is if I like the results here, I can click freeze to lock in the track. Now let's do the same thing for our boxing shot. We're just gonna tell AE what the first frame is and see if it's able to follow the rest. I'm not sure if I should be surprised or not, but it actually tracked these fast movements really well. But you know, we won't actually know how good Rotobrush 3 is until we compare it to the others. First, we gotta compare Rotobrush 3 to Rotobrush 2, which is three years old, to see how it holds up. This is actually pretty easy to do. So first we need to unfreeze the clip and up in the effect controls tab, you can see I can change it to two and even one but we don't need to go that far back. With the first frame mask and Rotobrush 2 selected, let's hit play and see the results. Okay, so a lot to talk about, but first I wanna talk about how long it took. For this 4K running clip, it took 15 seconds to track the rest of the shot and 10 seconds for the 1080p boxing clip, both about the same length. For comparison, Rotobrush 3 took 11 seconds on the running footage and eight for the boxing. So overall, 30% faster, which just shows how fast Rotobrush 2 already is. But the real difference is with the results. Looking at the running clip, Rotobrush 2 was able to follow the lady pretty well. Although there's a lot more background slipping through compared to Rotobrush 3 results. The hair is much more blocky in Rotobrush 2, but overall it keeps the shape pretty well. Probably because her silhouette doesn't change much but let's jump onto the boxing footage to see how it handles the fast movements. So yeah, you can really see how much better Rotobrush 3 is compared to 2. It wasn't even able to follow the shape of the boxer at all. I mean, everything falls apart not even halfway through. But you still gotta give props to Rotobrush 2. I mean, it came out three years ago before this whole boom of AI tools have kind of taken over. But before I compare Rotobrush 3 to all of these crazy new AI Rotobrush tools, let's give a quick shout out to our sponsor, Envato Elements. Now, it doesn't matter what type of project you're working on, Envato Elements got you covered. They got tons and tons of assets for you to choose from, from stock videos, even overlay effects and green screens, plenty of music and sound effects, and if you wanna get more creative. They've also got graphics templates for you to download and customize to your liking. With Envato's affordable monthly price, you'll get unlimited downloads of all of their assets. And guess what? You can use any asset in any type of project, whether it's for homework or a commercial project. And talking about homework or projects that don't have 
have a budget and Vato has hooked you up with a 70% off your first month deal. You can use my link just down below in my description box and feel free to cancel at any time if you don't find what you're looking for. Thanks so much to Envato for sponsoring today's video and now let's get back into the rotoscoping tests. So let's see how Rotobrush 3 holds up against Runway's new background remover, which is probably one of the most popular AI online apps. So here I'm in Runway's homepage and down in popular AI magic tools, choose remove background. Here you can just drag and drop your footage to import your video into Runway. Let's start with the hard one, the boxing video. To start a mask, just click to add a few dots to our subject and after a few seconds, Runway will come up with a pretty much perfect mask. If you wanna take out any part, you can go to the top right and change the mode from include to exclude. With this mode, you can apply red dots to parts of the footage you want to take out. Very similar to Rotobrush 3. Now that we have a good first frame, let's hit preview. And here we go. It took nine seconds compared to eight for the Rotobrush 3. And for the 4K running shot, Runway took 14 seconds to finish. So overall, only a few seconds slower. But despite the time, we have to check out the results because they're pretty amazing. Watching back here, you can see that Runway was able to keep the subject pretty well even with all of the fast movements. One thing that stands out to me here with this comparison is that Rotobrush 3 is very good at following objects even when they leave the frame and come back, like when her hand disappears here behind the punching bag. And when it came back, the track still sticks. Although it did think that the punching bag was her hand for a bit here. And that's probably due to the boxing gloves having the same color as the punching bag. Comparing this to Runway, it didn't think the punching bag was her hand, but it totally lost track of it instead. So hopping over to the running video here, both Runway and Rotobrush 3 track the movement with no problem, but Rotobrush 3 does do a better job at creating edges. Also, if you look at the hair, Runway is doing a pretty good job overall, but Rotobrush 3 just has better and more consistent results. I did try to use Rotobrush Refine Edge tool to get better hair separation, but it wasn't able to follow the hair's movement at all, which is somewhat understandable because of how crazy the hair is moving. So back to Runway, the thing that I love the most is definitely the user interface. It's very user-friendly, very easy to understand and use the background remover. And for being a web-based tool, the speed is really smooth as well as the upload and export times are fairly decent. As for my running video, I was also able to export it out to 4K as well. But remember, you also need to make sure that you have a pro plan to be able to do that. And now on to our only free option in this video, CapCut. In their website, once you're logged in, you'll see the magic tools on the left. And inside, you'll find the remove background, just like in Runway. Just click this, and here you'll be able to drop in any footage. Let's start with the running video. Let's drag and drop the file, wait a few seconds, and bam, it's done. That's it. CapCut just has one slider here to turn on and off, the auto cutout, and you can change the color of the background. CapCut took about five to six seconds for both the boxing and running video. So not only is it super fast, there's also no difference between the 4K and 1080p footage, but I think I know how they pulled this off. For example, if you look at the results, the quality is notably worse. Because CapCut is geared more towards quick social media content, they can press their videos more to get that speed. Also, a very important thing, CapCut seems to be doing some sort of weird retiming with the footage. For example, if I compare all of the results in Premiere, CapCut's the only one that isn't synced up with the rest, which could be a huge red flag for anyone trying to use CapCut for more professional use cases. With all of that out of the way, let's take a look at the mask results. It was able to track the body of the running person, no problem. But you'll see that parts of the background randomly appear around her, which is a bummer because you can't really remove these with CapCut. Looking at the hair here, CapCut certainly is one of the best at this. It keeps the details of the hair well and doesn't look too blocky. However, it completely lost the hair in some frames, which is kind of annoying since you can't really fix the mask afterwards. Moving over to this boxing footage, CapCut was able to follow the complicated fast movements way better than I expected but it does struggle with strong motion blur 
and keeping track of her boxing gloves going in and out of view. And you can see at some frames, the background also appears, which can't be easily customized like with Runway or the Rotobrush 3.0. So after trying out all of these AI rotoscoping tools, I have some thoughts. First off, I'm super glad that the After Effects team is putting love towards the Rotobrush tool, so that way it's more on par with competitors on the market. And definitely Rotobrush 3 is the way to go for more serious work that requires more customization. And I would say that Runway is a great middle ground for quick projects that you don't have a lot of time but have great quality results that maybe doesn't need too much refinement. And CapCut for sure is the easiest and probably fastest option. And did I mention that it's also free? But CapCut does come with a lot of limitations. This is why it's best for shorts or some quick funny YouTube edits. We can't deny how much AI has contributed to improving rotoscoping tools. And before we know it, we'll just be a few clicks away in order to create some really amazing VFX shots. And the most exciting part is that this is opening up so much possibility for smaller creators to create shots that just wouldn't have been possible just a few years ago. Until then, let's stay creative. And as always, keep creating better video with Gal. See you next time. Bye. Mm -hmm.